Testing our devices to ensure that it's working properly is so important. If we have a fuse, switch or a cable and we want to test it. Continuity test is your best choice. Continuity test to check if our equipment can provide a complete buff to the circuit or not. So, for example, this fuse is in a good condition if it has a very low resistance. But if the resistance of this fuse is very high, we need now to change this fuse. It has been blown. So, to check a fuse, bring multimeter. Insert the black test lead into the common jack. Then insert the red lead into the volt ohm jack. Turn the dial or selector to continuity test mode. Which has this symbol? In some multimeters, the selected dial could have more than a function. Here, for example, in this dial, we have three options to use. It could be used as an ohm meter or a capacitance meter or to check continuity. Be sure that you are in the continuity mode by pressing this button. Check our multimeter if it's in a good condition by touching the two leads together. It must beep and have a very small value. Be sure that this fuse isn't connected to any power source. We don't want any trouble here. Touch one lead to the first terminal of a fuse and touch the other lead to the second terminal of the fuse. If the multimeter starts to beeps and the reading of the resistance on the screen shows a very low value this means that our guy is in a good condition if the reading is very high and no beeps now we need to change this fuse we will do the same for a switch touch the leads to the terminals of a switch if the switch is in open position the multimeter screen will show OL, open loop. Now, close the switch and the multimeter will start to beep. Also, we can use continuity test to check if there is a cut in a wire by connecting the two ends of the cable with the two leads of a multimeter. Continuity test could be very useful if we have a cable with multiple wires which has the same color it's hard now to find the two ends of each wire connect one lead to one end of a wire and start touching the second lead with the other end for each wire until the multimeter beeps now we have the two ends of a wire Hopefully you find this video helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.